Here's a quick visual way to remember your keys. The first key is F, which is B flat. The second key, second flat key, is uh, B flat itself, which has in B flat and E flat. And then we go to E flat, which has in B flat, E flat, and A flat. And then uh, what do we go? We go. Um, we go from E flat to A flat, which has in that. So we go. See how it's going? And then the last key, the last flat key is D flat, huh? As in G flat. So the flat keys go like this in this pattern, starting at the top of the three. You know, just be visual that we have the. All the keyboards have these uh, two, two um, black keys and then three white keys. So starting at the top, we go first uh, in the group of three, then add first in the group of two, then we walk down towards the left. Next one, of course we're including them all, next one in the group of three, walk down to the lower of the two, and then finally back up to the third. So, see how it goes? And of course it's cumulative, so by the time you've got through all of those, you've got five flats, huh? Five flats, which, yeah, you know, is pretty all you need, really. I mean, obviously you can uh, flatten white keys too, but basically that'll keep you playing quite a few keys for a good time to come. Now the sharp keys go in the reverse direction, huh? The first sharp is F sharp, and of course that's the key of G. Huh? Then we go to the key of D, which has what? C sharp. Then we have the key of A with G sharp. And then we have the key of E with D sharp. And finally the key of B with A sharp. So we're, we're, we're working in the reverse direction. We still start in the group of three. But now we start at the bottom and we work our way to the right. So it's bottom one in the group of three, then bottom one in the group of two, then we, we walk up. Next one in the group of three, next one in the group of two, and then finally the last one in the group of three. So all of our sharp keys and our flat keys that we're really concerned with here start... Uh, on the opposite ends and walk in the opposite direction. So if we're going flat keys, we go to the left. And if we're going sharp keys, we go to the right. Get it? Neat trick, huh? Neat trick to cover most of your basic keys. With five sharps and five flats, we have 10 keys plus one, one key with no, with no black notes at all, which is C makes 11 keys. Huh? While we can, of course, play any hymn in any key, as a beginner, we're not going to want to do so. And uh, traditionally, the hymns have always been reproduced in the hymn books in their original key. Although you can find some hymn books with a hymn in a different key, uh, pretty much when they copy hymns, uh, they just uh, put them back in the key, whatever key they were in before. Uh, here's a popular one that seems to be always in C, when we all get to heaven. Now it's probably not a good choice for a beginner, because it has some movement down there. You see, that, that kind of movement may be, may be difficult for a slow hand. And also, once the notes are moving around... You'd probably want to start with a four piece of mu four, four part piece of music that keeps uh, some of the notes pretty pretty the same throughout. Uh, I'll show you a piece like that in the, in, in a minute. But what but our interest here is just basically to show you that when we're dealing with the um, when we're dealing with it, we have no key signature at all. We have a time signature of four four there, but we have no sharps or flats. So what does that mean? Well, it means that um, the notes play at their value, which is all white keys. So starting down at the bottom here, in this space, we have A. And then um, 
B, which is the which is the one on the thing and uh, on the line, and then C, and we just come all the way up basically. So we go, we go A B C D E F G A B C D E F, and we're all up here on the top then of the uh, of the staff. So we've gone all the way through the base, right away through to the the treble staff and all the way up to the top. Occasionally you may see ledger lines which carries you down below the uh, bottom staff or up above the top one but typically uh, you don't find much, much ledger lines in hymn music. You mostly find that in classical music where you're trying to play with an extended range. Um, basically the, the hymn books are all written uh, basically across uh, two, uh, well you really need three octaves to be able to play them properly uh, anything less than three octaves is a waste of time really in terms of trying to play a, a, a complete piece of music my faith has found a resting place in G notice it has one sharp up here on F so you have to remember to sharpen the F wherever it occurs but notice that it has hardly any movement at all repeated here in the left hand all over hardly any movement at all in the in the left hand so it's going to be easy and even in the right hand the melody is pretty slow and stately we don't see a lot of um, fast movement in either the left or the right hand so it's good to practice this you shouldn't have to play this more than a few times until you can get it and then you will um, get the idea of, of it, of the four part harmony you want to go on. So this will take very little learning, very little learning and it will help you to get familiar with the um, spaces and lines as you, as you follow it through. So remember what you're looking for when you're practicing your four part hymns so you don't get too distressed. You're looking for a relatively easy key, maybe one sharp, one flat, maybe two sharps, two flats. You're looking for um, very little movement a lot of repeated notes okay uh, along at least in one or two of the of the four parts so that you can concentrate on getting you, you know no faster very little movement not only um, up or down but also very little movement in terms of speed of notes you want a, a, a hymn that just flows here here you've got all uh, quarter notes and, and half notes you don't have you really don't have any quick movement in here either in terms of speed or in terms of, of of running all over the place on the keyboard so this is really a good one to practice with go for it here's another neat way to remember your keys starting from C no uh, sharps or flats to G one sharp to D two sharps to A three sharps to E, four sharps, and uh, to B, five sharps, and uh, on to F sharp, six sharps. With the flat keys, the name of the key comes from the rightmost note of the major triad in root position so in other words for my F key I'm playing my B flat major chord so the F key is on the right and uh, I can see that I have the B flat is the only flat in F now when I move down to E flat this is E flat triad I have B flat as my rightmost note so the key is B flat and the B flat has an E flat and B flat two flats when I move down now to my A flat chord I have added A flat so but the key is E flat 
because my rightmost note is still E flat, but yet I have A flat on my leftmost note. So I'm playing an A flat chord, but the key is E flat. And then finally we go D flat. Now I've got A flat now on my right, so A flat is my key, and the D flat is the uh, flat that I've added to the other flats. So now I've got four flats in A flat. So A flat consists of all the previous flats and I've added D flat to it. So A flat has in B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. You can also notice that the black notes are contained in the three principal major chords of any given key. So in the key of C we would have C, F and G. In the key of D for example we would have D, G and A and notice that the D contains the F sharp and the A contains the C sharp. So the three principal chords cover the two uh, black notes, uh, C sharp and F sharp of D. Now what about A? A has three sharps. Well when we play A, we get the C sharp. When we play D, we get the F sharp. And when we play E, we get the G sharp. So the same thing works for the, th the same thing works for flat keys. Let's consider E flat. We've got the E flat and the B flat in the E flat chord. Then we have A flat, which gives us A flat and E flat. So now we've got E flat, B flat, and A flat and then we have B flat. So all three of the chords have in the all of the all of the flats of the key. E flat, E flat and B flat, A flat, A flat and E flat, and B flat.